Christian preacher says our sins cause extreme weather, not climate change. Speaking on Baker's show, Mary Colbert, a right-wing activist, said climate change was Satan's way of distracting us from realizing the consequences of our sins. God is sending tornadoes and storms to punish us, but Satan wants you to think climate change is responsible. The thing that man needs to do is repent, Colbert declared. So, yeah. If anyone who doesn't know who Jim Baker is, and that's the show, this Mary Colbert woman, she was on his show. Jim Baker uh, used to be a huge televangelist with his wife, Tammy Baker, um, until he went to jail for a lot of fraudulent activity. Um, she divorced him in jail, married like his business partner. That's kind of irrelevant, but I'm just giving you a background. Uh, he comes out and he's back on TV um, and he is selling buckets of food for you to eat during the end of world times oh um, yeah they have like yes. a whole kit of how to prepare for the end of the world right yeah and they yeah make a shit ton of money on that shit ton of money so right. this guy's back at it selling his fraudulent bullshit being on tv saying outrageous things in the name of christianity and he gets these these people to come on like mary Colbert, who's saying you know, anyone who believes in science, anyone who believes in science, your scientists, what you're actually doing is following the devil. Because the devil wants you to believe that climate change is causing all of these natural disasters and stuff. But what it really is, is it's because you touch yourself at night. It's, you know, because you lied to a woman in the grocery store. It's, it's really your sins that's causing this extreme weather. And the devil wants you to believe there's no way for you to change what's happening, but you can if you just stop sinning. How does she know all that? Uh, she's connected to God. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to, how to respond to this. It's just so, so, I mean, it's so out there that you're just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> like, is she a big deal herself, this Mary Colbert lady? Is she a what? Is she a big deal herself? Not really. No, just just another, you know, crazy evangelist. Wait, but don't um, they want the end of the time? So shouldn't they want more extreme weather stuff? They should. Happen? Like, wouldn't, like, who's the other guy, the main guy, the Dan, Dan what? Uh, Jim Baker. Jim Baker. Wouldn't he be like, Mary, what the hell are you doing? We want extreme weather. Like, my entire show, my entire, I'm making money based on bringing the end of the world and you're trying to prevent extreme weather. Like, I mean, aren't they working against each other at this point anyway? They are. Like, I mean, if you if you guys really want the end of the world and is sinning that is causing all this extreme shit happening, then we should all be masturbating nonstop, I guess. That's... You know, imagine how extreme that the world would get. I mean, that would bring the end of the time. No? <laughs> like, gay orgies for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> everyone in the pile. All right. Uh, you were saying, can you tell me, can you tell the most sinful states by how much they suffer from disaster, like to, like the tornado area of Louisiana? Oh, yeah, actually, the, the worst states actually are the Christian ones when it comes to extreme weathers, aren't they? So, tornadoes and stuff. Ellie? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I guess. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't. Yeah. I mean, yeah, who cares about data though? The belt that's what? kind of affected the most by it, right? Yeah. And then, uh, if you look at the West Coast, they get the earthquakes. Um, oh yeah. So that's uh, West California. That makes sense, I guess, to them because that's a very sinful place, right? Right. So earthquakes, at least, God got it right with the earthquakes, but not with the tornadoes. His aim, he needs he needs to practice his aim with tornadoes. Uh, top comment saying, looks like thoughts and prayers don't help the IQ. Um, Andrew, okay, no, this one. Um, second top, oh, this is, uh, confidence, stupidity is one of the greatest dangers to humanity and our planet. And then another one is saying, I agree, our sins of overbreeding, overconsumptions, cruelty to animals, greed, corruption, and selfishness definitely cause climate change. I don't think that's what they mean, mean by sin, but okay. Um, but again, yeah, if you guys, if Christians want the end of the world, then start masturbating right now. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. 
we have built a global community and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.